What is going on guys? I'm excited today because I'm going to be showing you guys my new LYPC vending machine that I got off of OfferUp. So let's check that out. Alright guys, so this is quite a vending machine. It's set up for candies, but we're going to go ahead and test it out with gumballs because that's what I choose on, uh, plan on using it for. It did not come with a stand, so... I'll tell you how much I got it for and how much the replacement parts for the gumball vending device and the stand might cost me. So let's start taking a look at it. Alright guys, so I just got this machine brand new from OfferUp from somebody who bought it who didn't want to put it in service. So it's ready to go, brand new, out of the box, with the stickers and the instructions and the keys, ready for service. So, the only problem I have is I wanted to use it for gumballs, it's set up for candies. So we're going to test it out with this special mechanism that it has. It's not a regular candy mechanism that's in there. It's actually called a deep dish from the LYPC. And I noticed there's not a lot of videos on the LYPC vending machines. And we're going to take a look and I'll let you know what I think about it. Let's take a look at it. Okay guys, so this is the LYPC Classic vending machine. Um, it has a multiple amounts of uh, mechanisms down here that you could put for gumballs, candies, and different types of candies. As, as, actually the deep dish candies is this mechanism that it has. So actually I'm thinking the gumball is going to fit in there, but I want to test it and make sure it doesn't get jammed. So if you guys didn't understand why I bought this machine, it's because I'm starting a vending machine company and I'm trying to find the best deals for vending machines. So I found this on offer up for pretty cheap, so I uh, took advantage and, and bought it. There are a couple things that I don't like about this machine, but I'm still going to put it in service because of the price point that I got it. Uh, I'm going to have to either fabricate a stand, build a stand, or find a stand, or buy a stand. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Or drill it to a table, find a tabletop location. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but if you stay tuned, uh, you'll, you'll see. Guys, don't forget to hit that like if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more about my vending machine endeavors. I'm starting this company. I'm serious. And if you want to see everything that, that goes along with that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so here's the keys that came with the machine. In order to open the machine, this machine doesn't have a cash draw, but it does have a, ca a cash collection device inside the machine, which I'll show you. So we stick the key in there and turn it. Oh, left you loose, tighten it too much. Now, you don't want to tighten these too much because they'll, they'll break, so. And I don't like to scratch the, the uh, the coating on there because I don't want the machine to rust so I just gotta pick that key up like that and then I'll show you what happens once we spin that out okay so so once you once you release it you can see there's there's threads in there that releases the lock and it comes out just like that okay then the top gets removed okay this is the top part that goes on top says uh, YP100, I guess that's the part number if you use it. This, the key number is uh, YP003 if you wanted to steal my candy and money. And the lock number is YP113. I would have thought the keys in the lock would match, but it's not the case with uh, LYPC. So now we have access, we can put our gumballs in here, we can take a look at the mechanism. It looks like the one inch gumballs are gonna fit in there. But that's not the actual mechanism. That's not what the gumball mechanism looks like. Let me show you what a regular gumball mechanism looks like. Let me show you right now. So this is my first machine I bought. And you can see that's what the gumball mechanism would look like. See how it's circular? And it prevents the gumballs from getting stuck with those springs. So this machine doesn't have that. We'll test it. This is a candy machine mechanism, as you can see. It looked very similar to the LYPC one I just showed you. This one is a little bit different because it's uh, set up for a different amount of candy. So it, it looks kind of similar, but it's the same type of mechanism. So typically you would get that for candy. You would get that for gumballs. We're going to test it out and see if we can make gumballs with the machine I got. So if I was going to order this machine brand new from LYPC or its distributors, I would be paying $60 or $70 regular retail. It's on sale right now for $60. 
I got it brand new off of offer up for $40. And of course, both of them, LYP doesn't sell them with the stand, and this guy didn't sell it with the stand either. So, like I said, I'm either gonna have to make a stand or buy a stand. We'll get to that later. But what I really want to know is can I vend gumballs from this deep dish LYPC mechanism? Let's find it out. But first, I want to show you how this thing comes apart. I took the top off, then this comes off. Okay, this is where all the gumballs go inside here. Obviously, as you can see, that's the mechanism that distributes the, the, uh, the gumballs. Everything is brand new. This is the YP103. I guess that would be the part number. And then once you take that off, you have access to here is the coin mechanism. Now the one thing I don't like about this one, that's plastic. I ordered uh, a whole bunch of brand new gumball machines that are made out of 100% metal from the Rhino Company. They make 100% metal gumball machines. And I was assuming from the picture this was going to be metal based off their reputation of a full commercial deal. Like this is metal and that's plastic. This is going to break off over time. We've got kids lifting this up and stuff. I think that's going to... And these are way more expensive than the all-metal gumball machines that have a higher reputation that I bought from. So, let's put a quarter in there and I'll show you what happens. Put a quarter in here like this. Okay. You rotate it. The quarter falls in there. And the gumball uh, comes back to its resting position there. It won't let you turn it without a gumball. And it won't let you turn it back. That's LYPC's mechanism. Okay. Now the good thing about this is, uh, well, it's hard to get to, so you actually can remove this whole, the whole coin mechanism device can be removed as well for collection. So for collection, this doesn't have actual cash draw. You can order it with a cash draw, but the one I got from OfferUp didn't have that. And it comes with this plastic thing where you have all your quarters. Typically, all your quarters would fall in there in most machines. So uh, this is the YP119. What I want to do is test this YP119 with my new machine that I'm buying. I bought a whole bunch, a few of them, not a whole bunch, because you want to get more than you can play, especially with the phone device and everything going on right now. It's going to be harder for business for me to find spots. But basically, all the quarters fall inside there. This is where you would affix it to a either a table or a stand or something like that and that's how that works i'm sure that rod is replaceable if the, if the treads ever you know deteriorate or, or whatnot so let's put it together and we'll try out some gumballs and see if they make okay guys so i didn't quite stock up on uh, gumballs my bulk buy 850 count gumballs from sam's club for 22 dollars you guys well i don't want to say where i got where i'm gonna get them from but i've been pricing it out and i believe the bulk uh, distributors like Sam's Club, BJ's, and Costco have the best price on the gumballs because if you order them from third parties, you're going to end up spending $10, $15 extra. That's for the shipping and the price of it. So, some of the best prices I did find was on eBay for $20 with no ship with no shipping costs. But I don't know how old they are in expiration date, so I decided to go with the bulk distributors when, I, when I'm ready to order. I'm still planning the business. Being patient, finding cheap machines on OfferUp. I did order some brand new ones, so I'm gonna launch pretty soon, actually. So that's why I'm testing all these machines down the portion. So I found these gumballs. These were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It's 14 gumballs for a dollar. You can still make a profit if you buy them like this, but I don't recommend it. So I had one, so that's why I opened it. So let's pour them in there and see. So these are the cotton candy ones that you could actually buy too on bulk. A little bit more expensive painters. I've never seen those ones. I'm probably just gonna stick with the traditional or the gourmet. So the gumballs seem to be in that area where they're supposed to be. And again, touching everything. This is for experiment purposes. I'm gonna be cleaning everything out and disinfecting everything properly. It's a brand new machine, but I don't know what the guy did before. These are not gonna be consumed. They will just be for demonstration purposes. So. It looks like the gumballs fell inside there. Um, all right, let's get some quarters and try this thing out. By the way, I'm not putting these in the machine because apparently they paint your tongue. I don't want to paint my machine, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's test out this LYPC Classic. 
got some quarters here. Should have took the quarters out when we ran the machine out, but all right. So as you can see, I'm turning this. You saw the gears that are inside there. The gears turn the candy machine. In. So I heard the quarter fall in. I think I heard a gumball fall. I thought you had to rotate it. Huh? I would have thought you would have to uh, have a cycle before you can get a gumball, but it seemed to work. Let's try it again. Just threw the gumball back in there. I don't even know if these are the one inch gumballs. They look like one inch gumballs, but I'm not sure. They don't say double bubble on them like the bulk buy. So I put another quarter in there. Seems to be depending. Let's try it a couple. Oops, let's try it a couple more times. I heard that they get jammed in this type of mechanism. Seems to be bending. Try it two more times. So I almost thought something didn't come out, but I got it. I like the blue ones, huh? Is there other colors or? Well, majority of them are blue. Unless, uh, I didn't look at the pack or anything. I just grabbed them at the dollar store and I saw them. I was like, all right, those would be perfect to test my new machines. So these are commercial grade machines. I had a quarter on the floor here. And there we go. Try one more. And I'll give you my ultimate thoughts on it. Ah, uh, no gumball that time. Gumball. Let me go get some more quarters. I'll be right back. Well, you guys will see it immediately, but hold on a second. All right, I grabbed uh, seven more quarters because uh, since I didn't get one gumball, I didn't know what's going on here and why we didn't get a gumball. So, And if this mechanism is not going to work. So it costs $15.99 for the actual gumball mechanism like I was showing you in that machine that looks like that. That's built for this machine plus shipping, and it ends up being about $30. When I spent $40 for the machine, I'm not trying to really invest in that. So if I can't vend gumballs from this machine, then I'm going to try to vend other types of candies. Um, I don't want my customers having a problem, and I don't want the machine being inoperable. So, another one with no gumball. Mm, getting worried again. Try another one. Okay, well, it didn't work. We'll try one more and then we'll take a look and see what the problem is. Okay, nothing. So, it looks like it's not spinning. I'm gonna put a quarter in there again and then we'll see if it's spinning around. Oh, it is actually spinning. The gumballs are not, it needs those springs, I think, for the gumballs to be fed into those slots. I bet you if I shake it, one gumball will fit in there, will fall into the slot. But I can't, I can't depend on the customers to shake the machine in order to get their product. So, therefore, I think the conclusion is, I don't know if I need more in there to 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 have the gravity to force the gall, gumballs down into the into the slots or. It's going to work now, but that specific failure right there, uh, I need to either do more testing on the machine or, and again, that is not designed for gumballs. I showed you what, what is designed for gumballs like this. This is the first machine I bought. If you want to see more about this, check out my other video. But I'm coming to the conclusion that I don't think you should vend gumballs from a candy machine mechanism because probably going to have issues and you're not going to be there to fix the issues especially if you're away from for a month you're never going to know and uh you're going to lose out on money so so my ultimate conclusion is this is a plastic machine lypc i don't want to i don't think i want to invest anymore in this machine i already spent 40 dollars on the machine i don't want to spend another 40 dollars on the mechanism 30 dollars on the mechanism to have the gumballs and then another 40 dollars on the stand it's just, I might as well should have just bought brand new machines from another website that vends all metal machines. So, 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys the rest of my machines that are coming in via UPS here in the next couple weeks. And I'll also be showing you guys... Uh, I'll be showing you guys uh, when I place them, so stay tuned. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I really appreciate you guys watching this video. You must be interested in gumball machines, and um, don't forget to check out my next video that's coming out on the first machine I ever bought. It's a three-head machine, and I'll show you how that works, and it's definitely got the gumball mechanism in the center. So, thanks for watching me. We both together decided, well, I decided, let me know what you think probably can't put gumballs in a candy machine uh, mechanism. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next vending machine video. Thanks for tuning in, guys.